good sign when you see this sealant coming through where your bolts are. Okay, so all the bolts are on. Now I can go ahead and tighten the whole thing down. Go to the next one down. Next. So I'm going through and just tightening them down a little bit more. And now that's a wrap. So now that I have it, all these bolts are all tightened down. I got a nice poly seal in there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this liner. I'll just get a nice sharp razor blade. You'll notice I'm cutting straight up and out. This piece is gonna have a bunch of sealant on it, so you wanna be careful not to get that on yourself. And there's a little lip on the filter you see. I usually come through and just cut that little piece like that. And then work myself up in an angle like so. So I have a nice cut like that. I still have all this liner excess ready so I still can rock this whole section in. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and get back to finishing the waterfall. I want to take a couple minutes to uh, show you about foaming during the waterfall construction. This is our spillway right here. Water is going to be coming over this towards the home. And if you'll notice in this gap right here, we would lose a lot of water down in here and out this little gap. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some waterfall foam in here. I'll show you a couple tricks to redirect the water to go over the top. So this expanding foam. Fill this gap. And I want to be careful and not go too fast because, like I said, it does expand and I don't want it to look kind of gross out there. But we want to foam in this gap so we don't lose any water down there. And I'll even continue on around the bin here. Now, to hide that foam, I'll usually come in with a little bit of cobble. Now I'm worried about this, this pinch, there's a little uh, V right here, and I think that a lot of water is gonna come here, and I really want it to go across this flat part. So I'm gonna take the time to kind of close this gap up. I have a little bit of flagstone that I have laying around from a job. I wanna close that gap up a little bit. That'll prevent water from just going right out below it. And it's easy to hide. So I'll let this dry up. The water is going to be up to here. We're going to come through and put a bunch of cobble in here. So you're not going to see any of that.
So it's that simple. We're just going to want to make sure anywhere you don't want water to escape, you're going to want to use that expanding foam and then hide it up. And another little trick that let me show you is you can come in here with a little bit of dirt and that helps to hide any foam that might be showing. Let that harden off before you start the waterfall up and the water will just give a nice spill right over the top. So I'm just rinsing all the construction debris out of this waterfall filter before I add the media. So this particular filter is a biomechanical reactor, if you will. Below, this is an air stone and air bubbles will come out of here. And this is a drain. And then below here, we're gonna have lava rock. So we're gonna fill this with lava rock right now. Uh, up to the bottom of this, and that'll be the mechanical portion of this filter. And then we'll inject air into this diffuser and the air bubbles will come up and then we'll have some floating media on top of that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is introduce the lava rock. So I typically come in with some some big lava rock first. I can go ahead and rinse that. The drain that I have in here is already open, so it's draining. So I just use the, the, the big lava rock to cover the grating across the bottom. And I can come through with a finer lava rock 